Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. Is this your first time of coming to my channel? Thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in this tutorial, we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew your tulip bustier dress. So this form of dress, we have our bustier effect at the lower upper part, and for the lower part, we have our tulip gown okay if you're interested in learning how to achieve this then stay tuned and don't forget to join us on instagram tg designs what are you waiting for okay now if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your bustier tulip gown? So we have our shoulder measurements, bust, waist, hip, and our gown length. So let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements. Now our shoulder measurements, we have 16. 16 divided by 2, we have 8 inches. Our bust is 46. So 46 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 13 inches. Our waist is 40 inches so 40 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12.5 our hip is 50 inches so 50 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 14 inches our gown length is 57 57 plus 2 inches we have 59 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your tulip gown now i know you might want to ask, i know you might want to ask me that you know what about our shoulder to waist our nipple to nipple since what we want to achieve is going to have bustier effect now i have a detailed tutorial where i explained you know size charts i'm going to go ahead and link it somewhere on the screen please go ahead and watch that after watching this tutorial and size chart is also available all you are going to do is check the description box for details and place your order for your size chart so this size chart definitely just helps you to know what measurements are you going to use for your shoulder to waist what measurements are you using for your shoulder to nipple across all your body measurements right so looking at this now our bust is 46 inches if you have your detailed size chart it's to, it's to show you or tell you what measurements you need for your shoulder to waist what measurements you need for your shoulder to nipple what measurement do you need for your shoulder to your under bust and basically it is very necessary for you to have your size chart which is available because this helps you you know just to work with clients with their basic measurements so i know you might want to say that you know when you take your measurements is more effective and all of that but let me just ask, ask that you know when you take your accurate measurements when you measure your client directly is effective but let me ask you this so what if you are not in the same location with your client so how will you know what measurements to use and definitely people don't really like when you are taking so many measurements especially when you are you know touching their boobs area and all so i would just encourage you to get your size chart which i'm going to put you know my contact in the description box below if you're interested said please place your order for your size chart so these are the basic measurements required in order for us to achieve our bustier tulip gown i'm going to make use of african prints for this style right and if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available both online training and physical training now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys, now we want to cut out our tulip gown, right? So I'm making use of this pattern paper to achieve it. And this pattern paper is about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle as you can see and it is available, okay? So if you're interested, please go ahead and place your order. So now let's go ahead and take our basic measurement, our shoulder to bust our shoulder to bust we have 10 inches shoulder to arm oh we have nine and a half shoulder to under bust we have 14 and a half shoulder to waist we have 18 inches 
waist to hip we have nine inches waist to knee length we have 17 inches and of course we have our gown length so you can see that with this pattern paper you know we'll go ahead now and mark our dart measurement so my dart measurement is four and a half inches i'll mark four and a half four and a half inches up to the waistline once you are done you go ahead and connect the lines together on your waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides connect the lines together to your bust line and you connect it to your waistline once you are done the next thing you are going to do because this form of dress is going to have bust here go ahead and extend your dart line to your shoulder line this way now on your under bust go ahead and mark half inch on your under bust on your under bust line mark half inch once you are done connect it to the bust line this way and making use of your pattern master which is also available connect what you have from your under bust to your waistline so this is what it's going to look like now on your shoulder go ahead and mark five inches on your shoulder mark five inches connect it to your bust line this is basically what your bustier effect is going to look like. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurement. So before you mark your shoulder measurement, please go ahead and close up your shoulder. Once you close up your shoulder, automatically this place is going to pop up, which is your bust area to show that you have your bustier effect. So I'll go ahead now and mark my shoulder measurements 8 inches. On my bust line, I'll mark my bust measurement 11, 13 inches, sorry. On my waist line, I'll mark my waist measurement 12.5. On my hip line, go ahead and mark our hip measurement 14 inches. Now, on my gown length, so let's go ahead now and connect this so that I can move the pattern paper forward. So go, go ahead with your pattern master, connect your bust to waist, waist to hip, this way. Now, making use of your arm or curve, connect your bust line to your shoulder line. This is what it looks like for the upper part. Now, let's go ahead now and mark the lower part. So guys, you can see how long the pattern paper is. There is no connection, there is no attachment. You can see how long. This is a very long gown and the pattern paper is about 60 inches. It comes in a bundle. Please go ahead and check out the description box and place your order. You are going to see our phone number in the description box. So. On our hip line, we marked 14 inches. Now, you can deduct, because this is a tulip skirt, go ahead and deduct one inch or one and a half inches. So we have 14 inches. On my gown length now, I'm going to have 13 inches. So basically, I just deducted one inch from it. I hope you guys can see 13 inches. So just go ahead and extend this all the way to your gown length now once you are done the next thing you have to do now is to mark your neckline so basically the next thing you have now is to mark your neckline and the number of inches you want for your neckline totally depends on you so i'm going to have four inches because it's a very wide um, neckline why for the deepness i will go ahead with five inch once i'm done i have just a curve because it's a round neckline and this is basically what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out so guys i've gone ahead now to cut it out the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and open up this part now the reason why we are opening up this part is because the upper part of this piece is where you have your bust here so i'm going to have my lower part this way i'll set this aside 
Now for this upper part, you basically just go ahead and open this. And for the upper part, you are going to have two pieces this way. By the time you couple this together, you are going to have your bustier effect. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut out my back block. So guys, now we want to cut out the back block. You are still going to make use of the same line. So the first thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your zip allowance. I'm making use of one and a half inches for my zip allowance. Once I'm done, I will go ahead and connect my zip allowance. Next thing you do now is to go ahead and mark your dart four and a half. Mark your dart four and a half inches four and a half inches connect the lines together on your waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides once you are done you connect it to your bust line and you also connect it to your hip line this is what it looks like now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements eight inches bust measurements 13 our waist is 12.5 our hip is 14 inches now you also go ahead with your pattern master and pattern masters are available go ahead and connect the lines together now making use of our arm o curve connect your bust line to your shoulder connect your bust line to your shoulder now for the front dog, the lower part of our front dog, we marked 13 inches. So we are also going to use that also for the back dog, right? The number of inches you deduct for the front dog is also what you are going to deduct for the back block. So I will just go ahead now and mark 13 inches and extend my hip line all the way down. To your gown length so once you are done the next thing you are basically going to do now is to go ahead and mark your neckline the wideness for the front block we made it of four inches so we are using the same wideness now you know we have the same wideness which is four inches for the deepness i'm also going to make it of five inches i'll go ahead and connect it so for the back block i want like a square neckline on my shoulder line i'll mark one inch for my shoulder slope and then i'll connect the lines this way once i'm done i'll basically go ahead now and cut this out if you have any so guys, after cutting it out, this is what we have. This is what we have. Now, because this is the back block, right, I'm not going to go ahead and open up this part because the reason why I opened it up for the front block is because of the upper part where you have your bustier and we want to pad it. But for the back block, you can open it up if you want and if you don't want, you can just leave it like this to have a single piece. It all depends on you. So I'll go ahead now and just transfer this to my fabric. This African print. So I want to cut it out now. I've gone ahead to fold the fabric into two. Once I'm done, I have my back block. I'll go ahead now and place my back block on it. Place my back block. So I went ahead to open my back block up because this fabric is a pattern fabric and I want like all these flowers to come this way. So that was why I went ahead to open it. But it's fine, like it's not compulsory. You can have like a single piece or you can go ahead and open it up. So I'll go ahead now, place my pattern paper and then I'll cut this out. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what I have. So I have two pieces for the back block because of the zip allowance. So I'll go ahead now and set this aside. So 
for the front block also i went ahead to fold my fabric into two after that place your front pattern on it and then you go ahead and cut this out once you are done this is what you are going to have you are going to have one single piece this way for the lower piece of your front block so we'll go ahead and set this aside so guys now for the upper piece of the back block we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two we've placed our pattern paper by the time you open this up this is what you are going to have you are going to have two pieces for the upper piece now we'll go ahead and set this aside so guys for the upper piece now also go ahead and fold your fabric into two now for this midpoint go ahead and place your pattern paper this way once i place my pattern paper i will go ahead and cut this out so guys this is what it's going to look like now by the time you open this up you are going to have your mid piece and you are going to have two side piece this way you can see what it looks like so by the time you couple this up and you also couple this up you are going to have your bustier effect so the next thing we are going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and cut out my lining for all the pieces once i'm done i'll show you guys how to stitch them together so for the upper piece of the front block for the upper piece of the front block you know this is what we have you can see i've gone ahead to attach it together you can see the bustier effect how it popped up i've also gone ahead to turn this with my lining and go ahead and give it a very nice press that is what you have for the upper piece now for the lower piece of our front block also we have one single piece i've also gone ahead to turn it up with lining and don't forget that your lining should be shorter than your main fabric so that you can have a very neat turn up at this lower part so once you are done now the next thing you have to do is to couple the lower piece and the upper piece together so that you can have one single piece okay go ahead now and stitch this together your upper piece and your lower piece so by the time you're fixing your dart this way and you're also fixing your dart on the lower piece it's going to align with the upper piece right so once you are done go ahead now and stitch this together so that you can have one complete piece for the front block once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys after cutting out the lining i've gone ahead to turn it you know turn my lining this is what we have for the upper piece of the back block you can see so this is the two pieces of the back block the upper piece of the back block this is what it looks like i've turned it with lining now for the lower piece now we also have two pieces let me show you guys what the lower piece looks like we also have two pieces for the lower piece of the back block now i've also gone ahead also to turn this with my lining and also turn this with the lining now look at the lower part of this dress you will discover that the lining you know didn't start from this point it's moved up with about two inches this is because when you are cutting your lining ensure that your lining is shorter than your fabric so if the length of your line of your fabric is 45 you cut 43 for your lining so by the time you turn it up this is what you are going to have and it gives it like a very neat finishing so also go ahead and iron your fabric it makes your job to be very neat so once you are done now we have the two lower piece of the back block we have the two lower piece of the back block and then the two upper piece of the back block so i'm going to go ahead now and you know couple this up i will stitch the upper piece and the lower piece together i will also couple this up once i'm done this is what we are going to have we are going to have you know once i'm done coupling this up this is what it's going to look like so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and attach my zip so that i can have one single piece for the back block so attach the upper piece and the lower piece together once you are done you go ahead and fix in your zip to give you like one complete piece for your back block now when you are fixing in your zip after fixing your zip what you are going to do is that you are not going to stitch the lower parts of your back block so that you can have your slits 
and the essence or the reason why you need to have your slit at this lower part is so that you can move freely so what you are going to do now is to measure you know how high you want your slit to be so you can take it very high you can take it you know it all depends on where you want your slit to be but basically it should be somewhere around your knee area so once you measure where your slit will be you are not going to stitch the slit part so you only stitch this upper part and then you fix in your zip so let me go ahead now and couple that so guys we've gone ahead now to you know couple the upper piece and the lower piece of the front block together and this is basically what it looks like you can see by the time you flip through the back you can see how neat it is and you can also see how this lower part turned off now the next thing we are going to do now let me go ahead and show you the back block so for the back block also we also going ahead now to attach both pieces together and we have our zipper we've also fixed in our zip this is what it looks like now we've stitched this part you can see where our slit starts from you can see where our slit starts from i stopped stitching at this at this point so the other points will serve as your slit you can see and i said that the length of your sleeve slit totally depends on how i want it to be so we have a single piece now and this is what the back block looks like so the next thing you are going to do now is to place your back block on your front block together place both pieces together this way you place both pieces together once you place it you go ahead and stitch your shoulders you couple up the shoulder together then you take your bust measurement our bust measurement is 44 inches now you check out what we have you check out what you have 44 divided by 2 you have 22 inches but here you have 24 inches it means that you have two inches extra on both sides you divide the extra inches into two so you are going to have one inch on this part and one inch on this other part now you move to the waistline don't forget that bust to waist is 8 to 9 inches so if this is our bust bust to waist is around this point now you check out what you have our waist is you know 38 inches we are supposed to have about 19 we have 21 inches now we have two inches extra you mark one inch on both sides now waist to hip is nine inches you place a tape measure where your hip is go ahead and check out what you have we have 48 inches divided by two we are going to have 24 inches here we have 27 inches which is three inches extra divide the three inches into two equal parts you mark one and a half on this part and then you have one and a half on this part once you are done you go ahead now and connect it stitch the lines all the way down and you also couple this up once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys after coupling this up this is what it looks like you can see now you have your bust measurement your waist and your hip i went ahead to fixing this bell sleeve to mine I went ahead to fixing this bell sleeve so you can attach any sleeve of your choice if you want and you can you know rock yours as sleeveless if you want me to make a tutorial on how to achieve this bell sleeve please go ahead and put it down in the comment section and I am going to make a tutorial on that so this is what my sleeve looks like it's so cute and then I have my you know tulip dress why for the back block you can see what it looks like and we also have our slit so thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye